What's up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host and earlier today, body cam footage released of Brian Koberger and his father being pulled over for a traffic stop in I believe Indiana while they were on their way to Pennsylvania from Washington. If you haven't already seen the body cam footage, I posted it on my main channel, Cinema Shogun. I posted it in its entirety. You could go watch the body cam footage over there. We're not going to watch the whole body cam footage here because the point of this video is showing you all are pointing out a few things that you may have missed. Now, if you have a keen eye, you probably spotted this stuff out, but let's just go ahead and start with the obvious. Let's look at Brian's reaction when he got pulled over. Now, full disclosure, I am not a body language expert, but I've seen a few people get caught up in some pretty gnarly stuff. And this dude right here looks like he just got caught cheating. He looks like his girlfriend just went through his phone. I want you to look at this face and look at it in contrast to his father's face. This is just my opinion, but his father has the face of like confusion, huh? Why are you pulling us over? Whereas Brian... Take a long look at Brian. Brian has that, oh, sh face. You know what I mean? Like, oh, damn, they done got me face. His father looks, looks confused. He looks legit confused as to why are we getting pulled over? But Brian's face, it doesn't look like as much of a face of confusion as a face of, oh, sh this might be the moment they get me. But okay, you know, I guess that's just my opinion. Maybe some of you all will feel the same. Maybe some of you all will see nothing weird about Brian's face when he got pulled over. But let's take it a step further. People are pointing out this mark on Brian's arm. Now, it's important to note that when you enhance these photos, sometimes you get these blemishes within the photo, if you will. Maybe this is a shadow. I can't confirm for a fact that this is a wound on Brian's arm, but if you're digging into the footage and you wanna see if there's any clues or anything there, I do think this is one of the most significant things that came out of this body cam footage is that mark on the arm right there. Is this because of the resolution and the pixels or what have you? I'm no you know expert when it comes to that field, but it clearly looks like there may be something on Brian's arm. Is it an offensive wound? I mean, you know, who knows? I don't want to say too much because we don't know if there's an actual wound on Brian's arms, but it does appear like there's a mark there, but maybe it's just something wrong with the photo. I don't know what, but while looking at that, you could also see that Brian has a pair of gloves in his lap. It has been reported that some of the investigators who are following Brian noticed that he put gloves on whenever he went inside of a store or something like that. Now, people have pointed out it's probably winter gloves for when he gets cold. I mean, obviously, it may look that way to the average person, but I think Brian was trying to be careful with what type of fingerprints and DNA and what have you that he left behind. We know that Brian's fingerprints are in a database because he worked security. We also know that law enforcement used DNA to somehow wrap Brian up in all of this stuff. So I think Brian was trying to be careful. And as you can see there, Brian had the gloves and whenever he left his vehicle, Brian most likely put the gloves on. Now, if you say it's because the weather, cool, okay. But one would argue, maybe you could take the gloves off when you walk around the grocery store, just like you have your gloves off in the vehicle. Now, one other thing that I wanna point out before ending this video, is the fact that the cop thought it was kind of weird that they were driving all the way from Washington to Pennsylvania. They gave the cop the story. It is hard to hear in the body cam footage because they're on the side of the highway. There's cars flying by over and over again. But the cop noticed it was weird that, you know, his father flew all the way to Washington to drive back to Pennsylvania. And the cop was like, what are you scared of airplanes? and laughed and kind of walked off. 
Little did he know that Brian was probably making this trip because he wanted to get the hell out of town and he didn't want to um, book a plane ticket and he wanted to get that Elantra as far away from Washington and as far away from near the scene of this crime as possible. That's just my opinion though, but I thought it was funny that the cop noticed something weird about that trip as well because cops will notice little things like that. But, but at the end of the day, Brian was pulled over twice in Indiana and both times they let him go with just a warning. Meanwhile, there was this so-called nationwide search for white Elantras. You got a white Elantra pulled over and they don't even really, I don't even think run the guy's name or anything. They didn't even give him a ticket. They, um, he was pulled over once and then he was pulled over again within a short time span and both times they just let him go. So I guess that Brian was a little erratic in his driving because, I mean, he was speeding, driving too close behind 18 wheelers. And another key detail that I think is important to point out is that Brian was driving because a lot of people were wondering, well, was his father driving? Was Brian driving? Maybe they took turns. We don't know. But at least in this footage, it's confirmed that Brian was driving himself. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is there anything else that you noticed from this body cam footage, let us all know down in the comments below. and We will continue to have that discussion in the comment sections. But while you're down there, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I have some interesting updates about this case coming tomorrow and maybe even later tonight. So stay tuned. But always remember one thing, remain opinionated.